Okay, so in maths, as sequences and series are closely linked, we will use the term progression to refer to both. In the following sections, we will learn about arithmetic uh, progressions. This will cover both arithmetic sequences and arithmetic series. Arithmetic progressions, APs, okay? Just consider numbers like 2, 5, uh, 2, 5, 8, and 11, okay? So what we say is that each term after the first can be found by adding 3 to the previous term. So the difference is 3 every time. Okay? So that means the next one will be 14, 17. Okay? And this is an example of a arithmetic series. A sequence in which each term after the first is found by adding a constant number is called a arithmetic se sequence. Okay? Then, uh, so what we can do next is any term minus the previous term gives you the difference. So, for example, if we go back to that sequence we had a second ago, any term, so for example, uh, T2 minus T1 is 3, uh, T5 minus T4, which is 14 minus 11, is also 3. So basically, any term, minus, any term minus the previous term is a constant. The constant D is the constant difference. In this case, D is 3. The letter A refers to the initial uh, the initial number in the sequence, which is two. So another example might be something like this: one six eleven, and then uh, one six eleven sixteen twenty one. We can see that the D is five because the difference is five, and A is one because it starts off at one. Okay. Now, so. If there are three terms in an arithmetic series, so for example, if I have Tn, Tn plus 1, and Tn plus 2, the way to think of this is it will be like T1, T2, and T3. What we can say here is that the difference D is the same between both of them. So what we can say is that T2 minus T1 equals T3 minus T2. And this works for all numbers, okay? So that's why the difference D is always the same for an arithmetic series, okay? In an arithmetic sequence, A is the first term, D is the common difference. Thus, in an arithmetic series, uh, basically T1 is always A, and then T2 is your initial value plus the difference. T3 is your initial value plus two times the difference. And T4 is your initial value plus three times the difference. What I want you to look out for is the fact that uh, anytime this is 3, this is 2. When this is 2, this is 1. And when this is 4, this is 3. This means that Tn equals A plus, and you need a number that's 1 less than N, N minus 1 times D. Okay. Now, consecutive terms in a rhythm arithmetic progression okay if we need to find three consecutive terms in an arithmetic series let the numbers be a minus d a and d the reason why this works is you can still see that it's d in the difference okay same thing as doing a a plus d and a plus 2d but this way it works a bit better because a is the middle if you need to find five consecutive terms in an arithmetic series let the numbers be a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d it, it like should keep a in the middle of the sequence okay so we're going to try some questions out now. So what I'll try and do is maybe number uh, number six and number eight. Okay. So find in terms of n an expression for Tn. Tn, as we said before, is a plus n minus one times d. In this question here, and uh, question six, we can see that a is equal to four because it's the first term and d is equal to minus 3 because it goes down minus 3 every time therefore it's going to be 4 plus n minus 1 times minus 3 it's going to be 4 and then multiply that by that it's going to be minus 3 uh, and then it's going to be minus 1 by minus 3 is plus 3 and 7 minus 3 n tn is 7 minus 3 n okay 8 Okay, so we have Tn. Uh, we try this one out here, exactly the same formula as last time. Okay, so once again, A is 4 for this question, but this time your difference is minus 6. D is minus 6, so it's going to be 4 plus N minus 1 times D, which is minus 6. Multiply in the minus 6, we're going to get 4 minus 6N plus 6. 
which is going to be 10 minus 6n. Now, the trick is with the tn is that to check my answer, if I replace n equals 1 in, I should get the answer of 4. When I replace in n equals 2, I should get the answer of 1, which I do, because 7 minus 3 times 2. So you can check your answer by plugging it back in. So for example, I'll do it with this one here. T1 is 10 minus 6 times 1, which is 4. T2 is 10 minus 6 times 2, which is minus 2. 10 minus 12 is minus 2. And then T3 is basically going to be 10 minus 6 times 3, which is minus 8. And you can see that it matches up with the answer there. Okay, moving on. The first three terms of an arithmetic series are 40, 36, and 32. Okay, so so far we've done uh, 6, 8, and 12. Okay, so 6, 8, and 12 is the questions we've done. Okay, so find, find the first term A and the common difference D. Okay, so find the first term A and the common difference D. Well, the first term A is 40. The common difference is going down by minus 4. Then part 2. Find in terms of n an expression for tn, the nth term. So find an expression for tn. Basically, uh, tn is going to be uh, tn equals a plus n minus 1 times d. What we're going to have is 40 plus uh, n minus 1 times minus 4. And now we're going to have 40 minus 4n plus 4. And that will get me 44 minus 4n. And that's what tn is there. Okay. Now it says find t15. To find t15, I replace n with 15. And we're going to get is 44 minus 4 times 15, which is 44 minus 60 which ends up to be minus 16. Okay, which term of the sequence is 0? So what we're going to do is we're going to put tn equal to 0. We have to find out what is the letter n. n refers to which term you're talking about, where it's t1, t2, or all the way to, I don't know, t100. Okay, so we want it to be 0. Okay, so we're going to say it's 44 minus 4n equals 0. Bring over the other side, we're going to have 4n equals 44. Divide by 4, we're going to get n equals 11. Okay? So that's n equals 11. So which term is the 11th term? Okay? So, I'm going to move on now. And then we're going to have uh, this one here. Okay, number 14. Uh, 3, 8, 13, 18 is arithmetic series. Which term of the sequence is 198? Okay, so what we know is that uh, A equals 3 because it's the first term. D equals 5 because it goes up 5 each time. We know that TN equals A plus N minus 1 times D. And this is going to be 3 plus N minus 1 times 5. And then what we can get here is 3 plus 5n minus 5. And then we're going to get 5n minus 2. Now tn equals 5n minus 2. And it asks us which one goes up to 198. So you could keep counting up like in 5s, 23, 28. And you could try and go all the way up to 198. But that's not the fast way to do things. The fast way is this is a general expression. You want your answer to be 198. You bring the 2 over to your side, and it becomes 200. And what we learn is it's the 40th term. So T40 is going to be when it hits 200. So T1 is 3, T2 is 8, T3 is 13. And when you go all the way down to T40, that's when it will be equal to 198. Okay, so we have 6, 8, 12, 14, 18. 6, 8, 12, 14, and 18. Okay, so the first three terms on the arithmetic series are k minus 2, 2k plus 1, k plus 14, where k is a real number. Uh, 
find the value of k and write down the first four terms. Well, what I can say is t1, t2, and t3. And remember what we said earlier about d. d is equal to t2 minus t1, and d is also equal to t3 minus t2. So what I can say here is that t3 minus t2 equals t2 minus t1. So what we can do here is this. We can say that it's going to be k plus 14 minus bracket 2k plus 1. And that has to be equal to t2, which is going to be 2k plus 1. And take away k minus 2. So what we get here is k plus 14 minus 2k minus 1 equals 2k plus 1 minus k plus 2. And then we're going to get minus k plus 13 equals 2k minus k is k, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then we need to bring them up over to one side, so k this way, 13 this way, and we get minus 2k equals uh, minus 10, k therefore has to equal 5, or minus 10 over minus 2. Now that we know that k equals 5, so once we know k equals 5, we need to figure out what are the first three terms. Well. This one here is going to be 5 minus 2, which is 3. The next one is going to be 10 plus 1, which is 11. The one after that is going to be 19. We can now see that A equals 3 and D equals 8. It means the next one is going to be 27, because 19 plus 8 is 27. Okay, so now it wants me to find what Tn is. So Tn. Tn equals A plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, that's going to be 3 plus n minus 1. So n minus 1 times 8. And what we're going to get is 3 plus 8n minus 8. And then we're going to go 8n minus 5. So tn equals a n minus 5. That's the expression for t n. Hence our other is find t21. t21 therefore means replace n with 21. 8 times 21 minus 5 and be 168 minus 5. And that's going to give me 163. So t21 is 163. Which term in the sequence is 243? So what we're going to do is we're going to have to figure out which term in the sequence is 243. So that's going to be Tn equals uh, 243. This means that 8n minus 5 is 243. Bring the 5 over to your side. And we're going to get 8n equals 248. And 248 divided by 8 is going to be uh, 31. n equals 31. Okay, so we're just going to save that now.